Good evening. The push to legalize pot in New Mexico continues tonight after hitting some roadblocks earlier this week. Happening now, the Senate Judiciary Committee is discussing HB 12, which would legalize recreational marijuana. The clock is ticking for the bill to get past this committee to go to the floor for a vote before the session ends. News 13's Annalisa Pardo has been following it all evening. She's live at home with the latest. Annalisa. Jessica, this bill needs to be passed by the Judiciary Committee tonight or in the next two days to have a fighting chance to make it to the governor's desk this session. Now, at the start of the session, the sponsors were optimistic because of the, quote, different political dynamic in the legislature. I don't think the opportunity's ever been better than it is now to, to pass a legalization bill. But now the bill may get held up in the Senate Judiciary Committee. It was approved by the last Senate committee on March 9th, but still hasn't made it through judiciary. Sen Senator Joseph Cervantes, who leads the committee, took to Twitter today, saying he was still waiting to receive amendments to the bill from the sponsors. We reached out to Cervantes to see what those amendments were, but have not heard back. But people are accusing him of stalling to keep it from headed heading to the floor and possibly the governor's desk. Another sponsor, Democratic Senator Daniel Ivy Soto, explained why he sponsored this bill for the first time this ses session. The reason that I decided to do it this time is uh, I got uh, frustrated with the fact that I think the people want us to do this in pretty high numbers. Another recreational marijuana bill is also on tonight's agenda, sponsored by Republican Senator Cliff Pirtle. Again, there's only a couple more days for these bills to make it to the Senate floor for a vote and the legislative session and Saturday at noon. Back to you. All right, thank you, Annalisa. Senator Cervantes says they are hearing supporters of the bill before moving on to the opposition. He says the meeting will likely go into the early hours of the morning.